Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Order of Battle World War 2. I'm playing the Red Star DLC. We're back here this time with Smolensk. It's July 1941. The Red Army is desperately trying to defend the region around Smolensk, the gate to Moscow, to slow the German drive towards the Soviet capital. I already talked about specializations, nothing to do there. So let's continue and try to get another successful mission we completely routed the germans last time so that was nice mission briefing the enemy seems to be unstoppable comrade while you were able to successfully slow down the german advance in lithuania the overall picture remains bleak german forces have scored major victories against our troops in all areas of the front just a few days ago, the key battle of Minsk, Bialystok ended in the annihilation of a large number of Red Army units on the Western Front. Our main formation to defend the approach to Moscow. Now the enemy is advancing rapidly towards Smolensk. We need to hold this area at all costs to keep the Germans away from our capital. German forces are advancing in several spearheads to attack Smolensk from multiple directions. Our forward lines are already on the verge of collapse, so expect the enemy to defeat them soon. You need to gather all available forces to defend Smolensk and other key objectives. Make sure that highly mobile enemy tank forces do not encircle your positions. Stavka expects the Germans to attempt another large-scale encirclement here. Do not just focus on the city of Smolensk, but guard the northern and southern approaches as well. Enemy air power is ruling the sky since the beginning of this war. No doubt the Luftwaffe is out in force again to support German ground troops and decimate our aircraft. Fight back as good as you can while Stavka promises to mobilize further air and ground units to aid your defense. Okay, let's start. And we have to never lose Smolensk. And hold a retake for secondary objectives. So Yartsevo, Kardimovo, Pochinok, Roslavl. Some city they'll probably won't retake. And that's it. Nothing up there? No. But this is one, two, three, four. So that should be enough. And then secondary objectives destroy seven armored vehicles. Destroying substantial numbers of tanks or self propelled guns awards a free anti tank core unit at Moscow and plus two specialization points. Alright, so let's give you elites. Basically working these guys up to make them into guards. Let's see though, let's give you regulars. If they have five stars, there's no need for elite replacements, I think. Probably can't upgrade these artillery pieces. No, still have a substantial amount of those. Air forces, guys like these, yeah, elites is fine. Especially for my fighters, I just need that. I have a bit of a cold, but shouldn't stop me ultimately okay as for this map I think what I'm gonna do because the Germans are probably um, right on my heels I probably should try to defend around this area and nothing but a KV a heavy artillery and yeah probably an infantry is going to stop them at this side. Then, <clears throat> I also need to stop them here. But I have this AT, which might survive, maybe. And this heavy here already. So, I'm pretty much just looking at one more tank. And potentially another artillery. Like that. Exactly. Then... Up to the north, I probably should be protecting this and Demidov, so no, I'm probably better off protecting here and here, but then I have to protect all three of these areas. Well, it shouldn't be too bad, I think. At the very least, I should 
try and defend in here. Definitely getting two of the long range artillery pieces. I think together with anti-aircraft. That puts me at 27. And I do want to put a KV-2 out there then. Probably also want to have a T-34 over in this area to defend here. Might need it out there, probably do need it out there. Yeah, so I'll be trying to get some of these up to the front here as well. So this will be lightly defended, but if I can let the enemy go around, take some stuff, and then I'll box them in, that, that might actually work. So... Looking to protect this area in particular as well. But I might not be able to deploy another anti-aircraft. Well, actually, I do want to deploy another anti-aircraft. Let's deploy three fighters, one bomber, and a recon for now. Sure. All right, that's it then. Um, let's get started. But let's put the sound a little bit higher. Just a little bit. I don't think that will make it. Well, here go another five minutes of your life. If you're actually watching the enemy turn, it's gonna take pretty long. Most likely, that is. How much do I get per turn? 22. Not bad. And I do have 481 to spare, so... That's nice. It's funny because I did some research into those naval warfers and it seems like the naval warfers were actually used in very limited numbers and only from 1944. Even though they were called Wolf Ramen 40, they they actually didn't see combat in a whole lot of places. So it's actually quite hilarious that so many games used that thing so often and so early, which is completely off and completely ahistorical. But that's fine. You don't play Order of Battle for the historical accuracy anyway, even though it does follow the war in detail. I mean, there are no ahistorical missions, that is. Nearly none. I guess there was one in the, uh, the final German campaign, where you get to fight for Moscow again, but then you lose anyway, which makes sense. Hundred bucks that this thing doesn't have a truck. At least most of those heroes seem to be gone. I haven't spotted a single hero yet. Maybe it's so that if you kill them, they actually don't. Oh. Yeah, I might not have killed that off. I don't know really. Hmm. I mean, I did. I, I did kill both of the fires. I think. Yeah. 
No damage on the back swing. Uh oh. <clears throat> So they do actually have pretty heavy forces up north. Kind of misjudge that. That's okay. Like I said, here go five minutes of your life. If only there was a way to make this go faster. Sadly, I don't know of any such way. I'm also surprised by the sheer amount of T-28 tanks that this game is using. I was, under, I was always under the suspicion that the Russians didn't have that many of them, basically because it was such a bad tank. But maybe I'm wrong there. Probably I'm wrong. One damage? No. But I didn't attack. Are you guys half trucks, huh? Well. Oh. Well, that's also fine. These guys are pretty much dead, anyhow. So I might just as well sacrifice them. Anyway. This will block the enemy that way. If I want that to survive, well, moving you here might help a lot. But I need the AT gun back here as well. If you can, you're usually pretty well off getting into the woods, but there are no such woods. Moving back is just sheer suicide. I might just as well move them in there. As for these, I think for this turn, they can probably... Well, I thought they'd be saved. Hmm... But now, I, I don't think so. Alright. Moving you back, you into the woods to block that off. Moving a recon in there. Need to seal off this area proper too. Okay, so definitely no protecting Demidov, but I can still protect this by moving in there and there. I'm quite willing to invest at least a little bit into that. I think I might need these guys up north more than I need them down south. But I wouldn't know, really. At any rate, I'm offering these guys this fighter as bait if they feel the need to go into that general direction.
Uh, all right, I do need to block this area too, which is a bit silly that I didn't do that. All right, well, we'll see. I'm playing moderately fast at least, but it seems like the AI is not willing to grant me the same privilege. Okay. Just think that 18 turns of madness like this, uh, they could still see it, huh? This may be a bit overkill. That's the first fighter that's gonna bite the dust, or at least take a considerable amount of damage. Yeah, not surprised. Because they can still see it, it doesn't matter whether I would have moved it further. It would not have survived under any conditions, I think. You have to be extremely lucky. I mean, those artillery pieces aren't bad, but... Oh, they put it in assault mode, huh? If they don't move any other unit, I can quickly cut them off. <laughs> sure. Police attack. No, they won't. They're actually moving pretty inefficiently. Like this. It's just what you doing. Hey, at least the AT gun gets to finish off my units. They've uh, had some limited use in the previous mission too. Which was pretty funny that at some point they, they were just out of units and they decided, well, the AT gun is the way to go now. We have nothing else left. It's kind of the same here. Once they have to start using their pack, they're on their last limbs. Yeah, they're probably not on their last limbs yet. If these guys move here, that'd be great. I can immediately cut them off. It's unlikely. Okay, so they... I have a hero here. These guys can't attack, but they can. Yeah, that's a shame. Ah oh well. At least they will delay them for a while. That's why I put it there. Also, this tank got stopped, so that's nice. Special event reinforcement. Same picture. Several new infantry units are thrown into the battle. Staff guys also promising further reinforcements for your core force to be enabled soon. Okay, I do have a substantial amount of forces in here. That That's nice. Don't know whether I needed those specifically, but... It's there. And I'm probably better off protecting... This and this instead of here. Because then I don't need to protect this specifically with too many forces. And uh, I can take my time at that point, fortifying that. But... I can repair the cavalry. They're probably gonna go in here next turn, but then I have the infantry, so that's looking pretty decent. And I can actually move these guys up a bit as well. So as to make sure they don't break through. Yeah, these guys are looking pretty hot. They're all fine.
かんだまーす Although they'll probably have a unit to attack with. If they're gonna cross, I can definitely see them attacking the Soviet infantry. Not so quickly the experienced T-34 model though. Anyway, the enemy will probably try to go and destroy these uh, unexperienced fighters, and if they don't, then they still have a nice surprise waiting for them, so that should work out quite nicely. Okay, so this is all set. This is all set. Unblock this area off like this, and I actually did save the artillery. I'm very happy about it. No targets for my artillery yet, since the enemy seems to have not moved by a whole lot. But that's it, though. Should have moved back in here, that was silly. Uh, yep. Alright, well, I'm gonna... Ship it one more time and call it a day afterwards. Now with this massive amount of anti-aircraft guns, the enemy air force is significantly less threatening. And it will cost them a, a bunch of prestige to repair their fighters like that. Yep, it's actually even going for that. Perfect. Ah, okay, so I need to move back a bit, unfortunately. Because that's just no good. Or uh, I will have to fight under that artillery attack. Could do that too, but... Not the greatest. Don't really... Ah, there we go. I already thought, why aren't you retreating? I don't expect these guys to live very long. No. And they'll probably put in another unit here. Yeah. Okay, so they have slightly too many forces <laughs> yet for this kind of action. That's okay. I don't know what's the deal with them not really coming from the Smolensk area. I definitely expected them to do more from this region, but then they totally didn't do get anything from there. 
It's a bit of a shocker. Okay, so they're mostly moving up. I can see myself trying to cut them off by moving through here as well. Special event, reinforcements. To counter the German attacks, staff guys authorized additional deployments to support your operations. All right. Um, thanks for watching, though. First episode. We'll continue in the next one. Take care and see you all next time. Bye-bye.